Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. RHOA Croy Bierman fires back at Kim's neglect claims. Former Real Housewives of Atlanta stars Kim and Croy Bierman have been locked in one of the messiest splits in reality TV history for years. Now the former NFL star is firing back at the latest accusations his estranged wife has told the media. Croy Bierman blasts Kim Zolchek's latest claims. During a recent chat with TMZ, Kim claimed that Croy doesn't pay for anything in their household, saying he has only paid two electric bills in the last two years. She even claimed that her daughter Brielle had contributed more to the family's overall finances. The Don't Be Tardy singer also said that Croy had recently suggested that they reconcile. After the interview went viral, Croy took to Instagram to refute her allegations. I will never stop praying for her. But I will no longer stay silent, Croy shared on his Instagram story. I was isolated, imprisoned, and silenced for almost 13 years. What's been mentioned in motions is only the tip of the iceberg. He told Ayoe fans they were witnessing narcissistic shaming abuse in the interview. Where do Kim Zolciak and Croy Bierman stand in their ongoing split? Kim and Croy first filed for divorce in May 2023. Two months later, they dropped the petition and reconciled. Peace between them did not last long. Croy filed for divorce again just two weeks later. Since then, they have publicly fought over their major financial issues and custody of their six children, which has included multiple visits from the police. Kim and Croy share kids KJ, 13, Cash, 12, and twins Kaya and Kane, both 10. Croy also adopted Zolchek's now-adult daughters from a previous relationship, Brielle and Ariana, in 2011. A major sticking point is their Georgia home, which came close to foreclosure last year. During her talk with TMZ, Kim admitted they had refused an offer of $2 million less than the house had been appraised for. Who would take a $3.5 million offer on a $5.5 million appraisal? Nobody, she told the outlet. In response, Croy's lawyer stated that a house is only worth what someone is willing to pay for it. If Kim is waiting to get $5.5 million for a house that is on the brink of foreclosure, she's going to be waiting a very long time, they said before dragging Kim even further. I find it ironic that this interview took place at Lax. Who's watching the kids? The answer is Croy. He's in Georgia working 40-plus hours a week, taking care of the kids, and trying to get the marital residence sold so that family can avoid foreclosure. Croy Bierman had enough. The once laid-back, affable former NFL star was now caught in the middle of a firestorm, with his estranged wife, Kim Zolchak, tossing claims like grenades about his alleged neglect as a husband and father. He'd been silent long enough, but now it was time to fire back. The tension between Croy and Kim had been simmering for months, well past the point of reconciliation. What had started as a whirlwind romance on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, complete with their extravagant televised wedding, was now crumbling into a public spectacle of accusations, counterclaims, and finger-pointing. Croy had tried to avoid making things messier than they already were, but Kim's latest allegations pushed him too far. In an emotional interview, Kim tearfully accused Croy of neglecting both her and their four children, portraying him as distant, unengaged, and emotionally absent. The former Bravo star, known for her sharp wit and unapologetic personality, painted a picture of a man who had all but checked out of family life after his NFL career ended. The allegations stung, especially since Croy had been a devoted father and husband for years, even adopting Kim's daughters from a previous relationship and raising them as his own. But now it was Croy's turn to speak. A few days after Kim's interview went viral, Croy released a statement through his legal team. It was measured yet firm, striking a tone of someone who had been pushed too far but still wanted to handle the situation with grace. The claims that I have neglected my duties as a father and husband are not only false but deeply hurtful, Croy's statement read. My children are my world, and I have always done everything within my power to provide for them emotionally, physically, and financially. Unfortunately, Kim has chosen to air these accusations in public, which is not only damaging to our family but more importantly, to our children. But Croy didn't stop there. 
sources close to the former NFL player painted a different picture than the one Kim had spun. According to those in Croy's inner circle, it was Kim who had drifted away, consumed by her obsession with fame, social media, and maintaining the glamorous lifestyle they once enjoyed. After Croy retired from football, the financial landscape of their lives changed, but Kim refused to adjust her spending. Lavish shopping sprees, expensive plastic surgery procedures, and gambling rumors were circulating about Kim, adding fuel to Croy's frustration. Behind closed doors, Croy had tried to make things work. He had taken on various odd jobs and business ventures, none of which filled the void left by his football career. But he did it for his family, working hard to provide stability in a new chapter of their lives. Yet, as Croy saw it, Kim seemed more focused on chasing the next bait opportunity to get back into the spotlight than on repairing their fractured relationship. Privately, Croy shared with friends that he felt Kim was the one who had neglected their marriage, her focus on maintaining an image of perfection. On Instagram, with her cosmetics brand and on reality TV, had left little room for their actual life together. We were a team, Croy reportedly told a close friend. But somewhere along the way, Kim started seeing us as a brand instead of a family. As the headlines about their split grew more scandalous, it became clear that the division between Croy and Kim wasn't just about money or fame. It was deeper than that. Their love story, once a fairy tale with an NFL star and a bold reality TV personality, had soured under the weight of fame's demands. Fame, which had once brought them together, was now the very thing tearing them apart. In response to Kim's public claims, Croy filed court documents of his own. He alleged that Kim had become increasingly erratic and that her behavior was detrimental to their children. He raised concerns about her gambling habits, which had reportedly escalated in recent years, creating tension over their financial situation. Croy claimed that Kim's excessive spending was the root of many of their issues and that her refusal to acknowledge it had caused a rift that was impossible to mend. While Croy was careful not to make this war of words too bitter for the sake of their children, it was clear he wasn't willing to let Kim's version of events go unchallenged. In his filing, he also made it clear that he wanted to shield their kids from the chaos. Our children deserve to grow up in a loving and stable environment, away from the toxic drama that has surrounded our personal lives, he wrote. I will do everything in my power to protect them from the damage that this public spectacle has caused. Despite the heated back and forth, insiders believed that Croy wasn't interested in prolonging the public battle. Those closest to him said that he still cared deeply for Kim, even if their marriage was beyond saving, but what Croy wanted most was peace, for himself and their children. While Kim's camp continued to spin her narrative, Croy quietly began taking steps to rebuild his life. He had always been more comfortable away from the cameras, and now, with the reality TV chapters of his life closing, he was ready to focus on the things that truly mattered, his kids, his personal well-being, and his future outside of the drama. As Croy navigated the messy aftermath of their split, one thing was clear. He wasn't going to be a passive participant in Kim's story anymore. He was telling his own truth, pushing back against the allegations, and making it known that he was more than the one-dimensional figure Kim had painted in her public remarks. And while their relationship may have started in the glare of reality TV lights, Croy Bierman was determined to move forward in the shadows, doing what he had always done best, being a father even in the midst of chaos.